See, whatever you're doing, however you spend your time, that tells you who you are. So think about what it is you like to create in your life experience. Once I look at how you commit your time, once I do an evaluation on how you spend your time, I can tell you exactly what you're committed to. People that say they have dreams or want to open a business or want to do something differently than what they're now doing. They don't like their jobs. They're unhappy. They're unfulfilled. People who say they want to improve their income level. Look at how they spend their time, how they spend their time, the commitment of their time, how they use that. That will really tell the truth. People who said, I'd like to do better, but you don't find them in vocational or technical schools, upgrading their skills and their knowledge, how they spend their time. That will tell you. What's going on? People who say they want to normalize their weight, they want to be healthy. But every time you see them, they're eating. That will tell you that they're committed to being obese for the rest of their lives. People tell you they want to stop smoking and they're lighting up at that time. Folks that say, I want to stop drinking and every time you're in their face, they're reeking with alcohol. That will tell you what's going on. Don't have to listen to what they say. Just watch what they do. Commitment shows up in your life in what you do. On the other hand, you can make the commitment to your life that you don't like the results that you have and that you're going to do something about it. See, that power is available to all of us. People who look at life and decide, I want something different for myself. Carol Hatfield. Carol lives in Detroit, single mother, decided that she wanted to go into her own business, did not have enough money to do it. She wanted to have a health food store. She sold her car and used the money to start in a little storefront, a little hole in the wall. She rode to work on a bicycle. And then when she got enough money, she, she bought a motor scooter and did that for a long time. She's now a very successful person. She now has three health food stores. She said it was hard, it's a struggle, Les. She said, but I did it. She said, I made the commitment to do it and I did it. Why is it that people are frightened by commitment? Because when you say the word commitment, that intimidates a lot of people. Why? Because it means you have to deliver. See, most people, you ask them, hey, look here, I'd like for you to do this. They'll say, I'll try. I'll try means that is my escape clause. When I don't come through, it's really a polite no. I don't have the courage to tell you no, so I'll tell you I'll try. Hey, look here, I need you to come to this meeting. I'll try. I say, what do you mean? You're going to lean toward the meeting? Try and sit down. You either do or you don't. Try and take this pencil out of my hand. You either do or you don't. There's no such thing as try. So most people like to use that language. They don't want to commit themselves because commitment means, among many things, no excuse is acceptable. That's what it means. No excuse that if you decided that you're going to do this, if it becomes hard, then do it hard. If it's difficult, so what? If it's inconvenient, so what? See, a lot of people made a commitment to come here tonight, but they looked outside and said, it's raining. The temperature dropped. It's cold outside. And they decide to give up on their commitment. And that's how people do about their dreams. They don't honor their commitment to themselves. Let me tell you what happens when you, when you don't keep your commitment. Number one, it begins to deplete your, your self-esteem and it erodes your self-image. It weakens your faith in yourself. You don't feel good when you don't keep your commitments. The other thing is that you begin to develop weak relationships with people. People begin to realize they can't depend upon you. They can't rely on you because you won't keep your word. You've established that kind of reputation. Just think, what would your life be like if you decided to keep your commitments? What will all of our lives be like if we decided to keep our commitments? That we decided to do the things that we said that we were going to do. That we wouldn't even speak it unless we were going to do it. If we decided just for a week, just see what your life can be like. Just let's do it for a commitment to make, make it a seven day commitment that I won't say I will do anything unless I'm going to do it.